monster. No. No, it is not. Sure. It's good. Hey Fruit Faces, it is Clary Berry and I'm going to very, very, very quickly just show you what I got from the grocery store. I have been not doing raw very well at all because of vacation and we've just been on a junk food vegan kick and I'm done with it. We only went to Costco today because we're in a hurry. I've got to go to orientation for my new substitute teaching job. Woo! I'm so excited. So yeah, got some organic blackberries. I'm still really enjoying the organic food that is coming out of Costco. I got actually three or four of the grapes. These are such a good deal. I got another thing of dates, which I'm not out of, but I feel like you can't ever have too many dates on backup. I got these, which the boys can have for breakfast. Blueberries, I love them, but they're not my favorite. I got some spring mix since I knew I wasn't gonna be going to the other store today. What? Three of these, one, two, these are organic, like five bucks, such a great deal. We got some black pepper, we're out of black pepper, got the ground kind because everything's better whole. If you ground it, it loses its, um, it goes bad faster, goes toxic. Got some pure vanilla for my Daterades. I got three pineapples. These are not organic, but they are fresh, so that's good. I think when you're eating a mostly raw diet, it doesn't really matter as much. And I don't believe they're on the Dirty Dozen. Apples, however, are on the Dirty Dozen, and these are by far the best organic apples that I ever get. So, gotta have lemons and limes around the house. Again, not organic, but not really on the Dirty Dozen. The limes. Um, Joshua talked me into getting some avocados. Hopefully he stays on top of them and eats them or that won't be happening anytime soon because we used to get those and I ate them all and that was not good. <laughs> it's like I can deal with the, the guacamole. I can turn the little things of guacamole down, but if I have a whole avocado sitting in front of my face, it's like, ah. So I got four bunches of bananas, organic. Um, haven't been buying cases of bananas because we have so many in the freezer, but I'm going to try Ted Carr's method of just sticking them in the freezer whole. That way you don't have to waste so much plastic. I've always kind of hated that aspect of freezing bananas. We've got some salsa for some different recipes that we have. Different recipes, excuse me, mainly for the boys. I'm going to try to not eat all of it like I normally do because it's a little too high in salt for me. And I decided to get some of these. These have been my favorite for a long time. I've never tried this brand, but I love snap peas. Sugar snap peas are so good. They're one of my favorite veggies to dip. And these I haven't seen before. This is a nice bag. Eight squash. Pineapple is so good. Again, not organic, but it's freaking delicious. It's good frozen or thawed. These are always a good backup treat. Gotta have that frozen food. And the only veggie I'm getting anymore is these because they don't have our stir fry at our Costco. And then I got the boys. This is a little bit different of cherries that I've gotten. It's, um, this all came to about $200. So, just so you know. Natural groceries, baby. 
Paper faces. It's Clary Berry, and we just got back from a little, actually, late night Friday night shopping. And we had one of our favorite sandwiches, which is a, what is it, cheddar Southwest. It's got ch vegan cheddar. I've showed it to you before. It's so freaking good. It's, we shared that. And then we had the other one, which was a chickpea vegan, vegan mayonnaise, chickpeas. All sorts of stuff. So we share that. The wasabi. I think it's Annie Chun's. I'm about to eat them all too. The boys love their ramen. So I got two lemongrass ginger. I got two of each. I got two Asian vegetable. Now I do prefer to buy my ramen online from Amazon.com. But there's just times when you don't have enough cash flow. To go ahead and get bulk items up front. So then I got accidentally got kind of reduced sodium, and I was telling Josh, he's like, "No, not reduced sodium." So I was like, "Okay, I'll eat these." Then we got original garlic and pepper. All the sodiums. Where's my extra? Okay, there's actually you can only see three here, but there's actually another one. Another one of the blue. We got two and two of the lovely Earth Balance. So good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you show them that while I... And burrito. Organic potatoes, tofu, chickpeas. This is alu matar wrap. This was like $5, something like that. Oh my gosh, this is Three things of tomatoes. We got two big red onions. I went crazy on these. These were two fucking 50. And we have 35 seconds left. Two fucking 50! Oh my gosh! No, no, no. So yeah, that's why I bought like five. Okay? Yeah. They are literally yeah. so good. Tell me oh if I have any nose like hairs. Five dollars. Get out of here. <laughs> tomato sauce. Not too much. Kind of I don't really get. Mm hmm. So good. Ooh, got some of these. These are a treat. Pot stickers. Are we going to eat those tonight? What else are we going to eat tonight? Oh my gosh, you guys. Favorite stuff ever. Three seconds left. Rockstar says, What did you bring me? What did you bring me? So, hey guys, it's Mama Claire here, and I just wanted to show you we went on a tiny little grocery haul here. Mama Mainly Claire. just had to go for. Don't give me no sass. What'd you get with your own money? Start out with that. Vegan cookie. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Chocolate, double chocolate, cream soda, and. So, I got these for the boys. They're requesting chips. We have a lot of salsa. Caleb made a nice cherry limeade today, which is really good. So that's that bag. We got some toilet paper. The unbleached was 50 cents more, so I decided to be a cheapskate. Just stick with this kind. But this is without chlorine bleach too, so don't really know the difference there. Had to get a kombucha. You know me. You know me. These were on sale two for five. I used to get the lemongrass flavor scent, whatever, but I went ahead and got those. Um, I got some cotton balls. Josh has been trying to use up my coconut oil that I use on my body. Um, so I got him some of this and he also uses like way too much. So I got him one of these, it was like $5.75. Hopefully that'll last a while. Josh, you don't need a lot of this, okay? okay. Like a quick coating. In fact, it says one serving is about one third of a second. Got some cornmeal for our tamales. I love these. These were actually, I've been using the spray kind of this crystal brand. I've been using this brand for years. Started out with the hard kind that you have to dip under the water and put on. I actually have one of those upstairs. But these are just so much more convenient. I've been using this brand for years. Started out with the hard kind that you have to dip under the water and put on. I actually have one of those upstairs. But these are just so much more convenient. They work perfectly for me. I just love this brand. I'm, I'm def it's definitely something that I just don't feel the need to change. And then I wanted to go ahead and get some of these bags so I don't use as much plastic. And then I got uh, some essential oils because I'm actually like completely out of essential oils, <laughs> which is crazy because I used to have a ton. Also went ahead and got some peanut butter. This is a cheaper price than I remember and it's freshly ground, which is very important. So hopefully a little bit less aflatoxin. Although of course, as the uh, China study, taught us we don't really need to worry about that if we don't eat meat so but still you know less toxins is good so again this is just for the boys so that's it that's all we did today i think we only spent about 60 bucks or so so thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you later
Fruit faces. I love you. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. We have a small little haul, but this is a special haul because there was actually only three things on my list and one of them was avocados and I don't normally buy whole avocados. I was scared and now I'm getting over my fear. So I went ahead and bought two bags. So this will be interesting to see how quickly I can eat these and uh, do this little experiment. This one's a little bit more ripe and this one's a little bit less ripe. So hopefully they take their time, but not too much time. <laughs> we don't want that. I went to Costco for grapes and avocados and I went to Nature's Natural Grocers for lettuce. They didn't have the organic grapes, so I wasn't able to get any of those. Unfortunately, they just had regular grapes, which I believe are on the Dirty Dozen, and I can just taste the difference, so I definitely don't do unorganic grapes or berries. This is three heads of romaine lettuce stuck in here, and I, I bought the bags, but I need to get them out of the wash um, so I can stop buying all this plastic all the time. I'm really excited about those, planning on doing a lot of wrap meals. I think it's gonna be so easy to just take my vegetables, my raw veggies, wrap them up in the lettuce and eat it with my avocados. And if I don't have avocados, then I'll fall back on tahini. But I'm definitely, I've been scared of tahini as well. My tahini actually is not raw, but I don't think, but I'm definitely gonna move as soon as I'm done with that. I'll move into uh, raw tahini and kind of have those be part of my evening meals. These were on sale for oh, like 79 cents. The boys like are obsessed with these and so, Anything the boys can make on their own easily with a little mess is going to be good for me. So the ramen's fabulous. These were on sale for $3.29. I got eight of those boxes. They're so good. And I feel like I used to be so tempted. I wouldn't want to turn this down if I had this or even if the boys had made this. I would be like, oh my gosh, I have to eat it. But I think with my secret weapon, the avocados, I'm... I'd rather splurge on an avocado than this. I'm really getting into like this cellular feeling of like my body's craving avocados. That's what I'm gonna give it. I got some aloe vera. This is not raw, but it is cold pressed. Went ahead and got one of these, a little treat. It's kind of my raw treat. I got this for the boys. They've kind of been craving the flour tortillas. I got some celery. I think it'll be good as a nice salty component. So, and, and I only feel like I need a little bit. The boys are obsessed with onions. Got the boys some garlic. They're kind of obsessed with garlic as well. Cereal is something I ran out of. I've been having cereal like this whole year from um, some purchases I made online, Amazon Prime at the beginning, and I absolutely love it. But again, you have to take that money and, and, and invest in it. And then you have the bulk. Um, right now, you know, I'm not super low on funds, but I'm low enough on funds where I don't want to do that. So I went ahead and got some peanut butter puffs. This is 24 ounces for $8. I also wanted to show you, I went ahead and got another case of soy milk. It's a better deal pretty much than any other organic cereal that I could find. That is, that's it. That's what I got today. I really can't wait for these uh, avocados to ripen up. I'm going to have to find a paper sack. Um, let me guys know if you have any questions. I may do a Q&A video coming up soon. So if you have any questions about what's going on with me, what I've been eating, or just any questions in general, um, or anything in particular that you'd like to see, take care. Hope you're having a great end of summer, fall time. And I will be talking to you guys very soon. Stay around. Stick around. Whatever. Anyway, bye. <laughs>